So the season hasn't quite gone planned. Uh, eh, I think I think we just need to, you know, just toy toes out of pram a little bit and let's start hitting people as hard as we possibly can. Hey guys, what's up? Irish Airman here and welcome to our week 6 battle in FIFA World. This week we're going up against Sfield, coach of the Sfield Chairs. Um, link to his drafting profile is in the description down below. Uh, definitely go check it out. Uh, I'm going to openly admit guys, I went for a few beers last night. Uh, I'm not completely fresh, but I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, we're battling Saturday, Saturday morning, so I'm hoping that I'm fresh enough, but... We'll see. But yeah, uh, his team, as you can see from here now, consists of Tapu Coco, Victini, Hydreigon, Ferrothorn, Needle King, Blastoise, Mega Pinsir, I always want to use that man, Driftbloom, Buffalant, and Arcto. Arcto? Arctovish. He's got a very, very scary team there, you guys. And you're actually going to see me have to deal with Coco, Victini, and Hydreigon in UBL as well. Uh, I think the uh, like, both battles come out at the same weekend. So you're going to be seeing those top three, very, very similar. And I'm going to deal with... This top three, the same way in both matchups. Um, I'm running hyper offense. I can't try and deal with this team with the with all the threats he has. If I try to defensively check this team with Coco, Victini, Hydreigon, Nido uh, King, Shell Smash, Blastoise, and Mega Pinsir, I I would just lose. I would just lose that matchup, and we will not be able to get enough offensive pressure off. So I decided, you know, what, I'm going to scrap that. We're running hyper offense. And I'm just going. I'm just going to smack as much as I can. If I lose, I lose. I'm going to live by the sword, die by the sword, and we'll go from there. So with that being said, let me show you the team. So first up, I'm running Star Lord, Aridioxus Defense, Rockin' Out, Steph Rock, Spice Taunt, and Thunder Wave. I'm running enough speed to outrun the Needle King. So the idea here is that we come in. This is my suicide lead. I kick Taunt. If I see Ferrothorn or Needle King. I then just set up my hazards with Stealth Rocks and Spikes, and we go from there. Uh, Thunder Wave is for like an incoming Victini. That would be very, very nice. If the Victini is like a taunt set as well, oh, so be it. I can just we'll pivot around that. We'll deal with it somehow, some way. Um, it's not the end of the world. It sucks, obviously, but we can deal with it. Um, but, do, 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 do. but I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Uh, if I can just get my hazards up really early, it will be great. Uh, the cut that Berry is just there for me to... Um, ensure that I can get the I, I can get like two layers of spikes off our form against Hydreigon at the start and it's but that, it's just been a, to enable us to eat the dark pulse a little bit better as well so that I can guarantee to get the cut step off against like a specs Hydreigon. After that we're bringing Raphael or or and this is just basically going to be my four four attack move, you know cleaner or like breaker. That's basically what this role is here for. Just kind of come in and do a little bit of that. We're in the protective path because Ferrothorn is the thing. Plasma Fist, Blaze Kick, Play Rough, and Knock Off is the moveset. No speed type, speed Coco. After that, it's very fundamental, very basic, not too flashy here. And I think the four moves there that we got, they should do enough work. The, uh, it's the only thing that's a little bit scary is perhaps the Needle King, but we hit everything else outside of that. And the Coco can be a little bit of a nuisance if it's a roost set, but we have ways that we can deal with Coco, so I'm not too worried about that. After that, bringing Crimson Arm Mega Scizor, rocking with the SD Bullet Punch Knock Off and Book Bites moveset. This is a standard of uh, S uh, like sword dancing mega swords you're gonna get. It's just bug bite over U turn because I want, I don't want to switch in this game, right? I always want to set hazards. I want to just, I now just want to set up and I want to blow through him. That's literally it. If he beats me, that's fine. But I just want to blow through him. So I'm clicking SD, and if he if he brings in Ferrothorn to check me, I'm just keep I'm just going to stick keep clicking SD until I can just click bug bite, and then I'm going to bullet punch through his whole team, knock off then for the Victini, and that's basically it. Very very simple. At that I'm bringing Togekiss, our Jubilee, uh, Choice Scarf, Max Speed, Max Special Attack uh, to outrun the, I think it's the, I, no it's not, I think it's Driplum, if I remember correctly. Uh, Air Slash, Dazzle King, Fire Blast and Endeavor is the moveset, Run the Swing Grace. I haven't done this yet, I'm going to do it now. It's going to be Air Slash and Shenanigans, if all this fails, it's coming, Air Slash, something down, perfect. The Endeavor as well, it's just in case I want to preserve the Togekiss. And sack something else and because i might need to break something later in the game endeavor will guarantee me to break it so i can just uh if i get low to hp break it so that way i can pick it off with something else and that is, is the idea behind that after i'm bringing savagery our crowd on rocking out with the focus sash sword sense knock off aquaja and close combat is the move set it's very simple i reckon he's he hasn't got much to switch into this thing and with hazards up and we get the plus two i think we win 
It's very simple as that. I think the SD, we should be able to live any here. Because we have the sash, I click SD, I then just proceed to go knock off, uh, knock off Aquajet in close combat. And if he's somehow crazy and allows me to click two SDs, brilliant. Uh, the close combat is there for the Ferrothorn, and then the Aquajet is just great priority that deals with the Victini, deals with the Tapu Coco. I think we should be fine. And lastly, speaking of the fact that you can't deal with offensive waters, Kelio's coming this week. Or a Sphere Surf, Calm Mind and Endure with the Sadok Berry. I know speed to outrun the. Vic, no, uh, is it 15? Yeah, yeah. No, sorry, the Mega Pinsir. And then that that's basically it. It's very, very simple. Um, the idea here for me is like we're going to force a switch. I'm going to click Call Mind. Then I'm going to click Endure on uh, something that comes in. And I'm going to hopefully get my plus one speed. And then that way I outrun everything. And I can just sweep with Surf and Norse Sphere. That is the idea behind that. Um, and hopefully it works. The one thing about this team, right, is that every, every single Pokemon offensive ring we have does have a uh, does have a revenge option like my opponent has a revenge option on his team like say for instance mega pincer can revenge the kelio the victini can revenge the mega scissor the uh what what is it the needle king can revenge the togekiss uh you kind of get what i mean there so really i think the best way of us dealing with uh try the best way of us trying to win this game is trying to pick off the pokemon that can revenge one of these five five months and then letting that pokemon come in and just do work uh if i could do that and just make that decision smartly in the game then i think we should be fine but with all that being said let's get up into the battle all right you guys here we are in the battle as you can see our bonus bought the mega pincer the coco the victini Drifflim, nino king and hydreigon uh no blast toys which is nice uh makes it a little bit easier for my uh i don't, I don't have to kind of worry about breaking that i have to deal with the shell smash shenanigans which is great um I'm kind of looking at this team, if I can remove the Victini, Scizor can sweep, if I can remove the Coco, my Zero Aura can sweep, uh, or at least break through, uh, if I can, do, 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 he might be Flare Boost, um, Drip Bloom, so we gotta watch out for that, but we should be fine, if I can remove the, I think Togekiss is a great time here, it, it, I, it's nice because we don't have Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn, uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore, so it's quite nice, um, Kelio has a great time here as well, so we have a lot, an awful lot of really nice options here um, to deal with. I'm just going to leave it with my Deoxys and I'm going to see what happens. The fact that he did not lead with, he did not bring the Ferrothorn um, is interesting. Interesting, I think. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, now, if he leaves with Victini, who is going to get sacked first is a good question. I think of everyone, is it Togekiss? Maybe, I think maybe Togekiss is the one that gets sacked first and foremost. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. He may want to leave with the Pinsir, because at least Pinsir won't have to worry about rocks and, sh and such. Uh, there's going to be, have to be one of his Pokemon here that has um, Defog, I think, because he's got Victini and Pinsir, it's very like rock uh, and Drip Bloom. So I think one of his Pokemon is going to have to have Defog, whether that's Hydreigon or that's the Coco, we'll wait and see. If he brings the Neo King in at the start, I just taunt. Because I prevent the hazards going up. In comes the Oxus. He leaves with the pincer. I'm okay with this. Um, I am perfectly okay with this. I am going to go for my Stealth Rocks here. If uh, Actually, yes I am. Because he might want to Mega Evolve and go for a sub and such. I just want hazards. I just want hazards up. I just want to get my hazards up and that's fine. If he goes out into something else, that's fine. But I just want hazards up. And I can... I can figure out what I want to do uh, once he's behind a sub. Like one, after that point, once I have hazards up, I can figure it out. Like it's not the end of the world. I can go out into Zero Aura or Togekiss and deal with it. And we should have a great time do, uh, doing that. But I just want hazards up and I want him to be punished for it. Now whether he goes out to it. He might have the Boots Coco to, de to remove hazards, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to we'll see what Sphere wants to do here. If he decides he just wants to um, Mega Vop. I think he... I think he just mega evolves here and just tries to go for a big hit. I personally, I personally think that's what he wants to do. As he... I'm going to T-wave that. Oh, do, am I? That's interesting. I'm going for the SD. I could get a spike off here. I go for a taunt just to prevent... Actually, I am going to go for the taunt. <laughs> As he goes through the double edge and just kills me. That's fine. That's okay. Um, 
I just I was a little bit worried about the I was a little bit worried about the Got him going for a sub there. That's fine. Uh, okay, so now that I'm in He has double edge. Uh, I could go into scissor just click SD and bop it. I can also go into zero aura and bop anything here really anything um or oh, i can go out into keldeo no we don't know keldeo is not the answer but removing pincer can actually open the door for keldeo to win this game so i think we go out into i think i can just uh because there's no air slash really switch in here i can just next to nothing so i can go out into Scizor, I, oh, oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go uh, Scizor or Zero Aura here. Oh, do, 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 do. Tempting, 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 tempting. I think we go out into... See, for me, part of me, I'm just going to do a quick calc here. Part of me thinks that he has got the... Part of me thinks he's got the... Uh, dum, 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 dum. He's got the adamant pincer. Apparently thinks he has that, so if he's double edge. If he's double edge and he's plus two, we're oh yeah, if we're yeah, against it, my Scizor. we we die to it. Yeah, so if Scizor's not the switch in here, it has to be zero aura. Now zero aura uh, with quick attack at plus two. Um my zero aura set. Uh, I, yeah, it's zero or switch in here. I have no other choice. Pass me that. I took a while for me to get there, but it's fine. Now, does he predict the... I think I have to go Plasma Fist here. So, we just go with that. And if he goes down to Neither King, so be it. Um, at, least the, at least the pincer cannot come in for free anymore until he removes it. He goes, yeah, he does that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, now, whether he goes for Earth Power or not is a different question. I could go down to Togekiss. And just air slash my way here as he might want to set up rocks or something like that. Ilk, I think we do go into Togekiss. Uh, I would like to keep the zero around just to check that um, pincer a little bit. Go into Togekiss, I just keep air slashing until I'm happy with life once more. Uh, you're probably life orb or some scarf set, which is fine. Uh, knockoff would have been the better play there, but I couldn't risk the pincer at all there. Um, do, 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 do you predict? Togekiss here I'm going to Coco if you do if you do I think I just click fire but I just click the air stash right or do I what do you do what do you I think he just clicks uh, Step Fox or I think he goes for EP Sludge Wave Step Fox or the the T-Spikes because he knows he can't um, he knows that Word Irish. Um, he knows that I can't. He knows I can't touch him with zero aura, unless I go for knockoff. If he goes for EP, yeah, I need I, I need this pin, mega pincer gone. If I could, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna target a mega pincer being gone so that Kelio can win here because if mega pin if mega pincer's gone, Kelio sweeps because uh, he's got no more priority. And to do that, I need to be in. Crawl. I need to be in something. I, could, I, I really should have gone to crawl onto the mega pincer there, because I could have just gone liquidation, and just smacked them, or smacked anything that came in here. So I think crawl would have been a better play there. There's the EP. I'm delighted with that. Um, I think you. I think I'm gonna go air slash and just get a little bit chip off on this Coco. I think that's what we do, and I think I, I want to see what he wants. To, if what this Coco is, if Coco is defog, then he'll go for it right in front of my Togekiss, and I could just maybe start chipping down the Coco a little, little bit, a little bit. So I'm just going to go for the air slash. If he's scarfed, he switches here. Uh, he definitely lives in air slash, so I think I, I um, unless he might be worried with specs, but even then, like if he's if I'm specs. He should out be outspeed me and should kill me with the Sludge Wave. So I think he just goes Sludge Wave here. And if I can get like the... If we can get that flinch, boys. If we can get that flinch. But no, I just want the damage, really. Um, I just want the damage. 
it just makes Needle King a little bit more easier to deal with for my Zero Aura because in that way Knock Off can kill it and all of a sudden Needle King isn't switching anymore which is great and it's just, yeah it's all about just getting that little bit of chip casually on his team so that we can eventually sweep him because with this hyper offense style we're going to lose Pokemon we're not we're not we're not going to six zone we're just going to lose Pokemon until we can actually ha hammer him I want to smash him and that's it so we'll see what he does I suppose we just got to wait and see what um what speed gives us here we just got to wait and see if you just decide to sack the mega pincer then that's that would be nuts for us because it just op it just means Kelio wins at that moment it just means Kelio can win if he sacks the mega pincer because I just got to get Kelio in for free click Carmine click Endure and then we outrun his whole team so we just got to get to that point just got to get to that point. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't think he gives me Needle King here. I severely doubt it. As we do actually get the damage off on Needle King. And we get the flinch. I'm going for that again. Thank you very much. He knows I'm scarfed now. So it is what it is. Um, whether he's willing to bring Coco on that or not is fine. He does indeed elect to bring in Coco. I'm just going to go for another Air Slash. Resisted 22%. I could go for that again. Um, or I could bring in Zero Aura. I'm actually going to go for this Air Slash again. I think he U turns. I think he U turns. Uh, if I'm going to go for that again. There is another one, 25%. He actually goes for the Roost that time. So he is Roost, Coco. Uh, I'm I'm going to keep clicking Air Slash. I want you chipped. Uh, you may have to. Because uh, at some point, he'll want to defog here. There's the T Bolt. That's fine. Oh, we do get powered. Alright, I'm just going to. Hmm. That definitely sucks. The power definitely sucks. Definitely sucks. Um. I think he roosts here. But even then, if he roosts, I I want to. He's roost T bolt. I could bring Scizor. Kick SD. I or uh, oh, brain is all right kick knock off maybe um he didn't take uh rocks damage uh oh no he did he did he did so i don't know what he is he could be e -belled. um i'm just gonna yeah oh shit right okay fair enough he's all right he's t-ball combine roost He has to be dazzling gleam. He has to be dazzling gleam. Has to be dazzling gleam. So for me to break him. We can break him because we do have Crawdon for Aqua Jet, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm just gonna try and get a little bit more chip there. At least we got rid of the terrain. I think we bring Crawdont, I click Aqua Jet. He's definitely going to have to roost here at some point. Um, I'm going to bring Crawdont in here now. There's the roost. Uh, I am clicking Aqua Jet. We should do... Actually, hold on. How badly... Do, uh, how, much, how much is my Aqua Jet going to do here? Can I just... Can I set up a... Can I set up my crawdont here for a with an SD I kinda need to I think I have to go knock off into Aqua Jet and then let Mega Scizor come in and Bullet Punch. I think that's what I gotta do. I think that's what I gotta do. And that obviously sucks, but I think that's what I gotta do. And we have the Tokus that we can just sack at any point. So I think we knock off into Aqua Jet. And I think we should be fine. So I'm gonna do just that. There's a Dazzling Gleam. We live on our Sash. I'm glad that he didn't go for the T-Bolt to so at least we get a little bit of something going off on there. Here's the weakness policy. That was very cheeky of him. Don't blame him for doing it though. And then I'm just going to go for a 
Aquajet put uh, if he goes for a I think he has to go for the offensive move here unless he goes for a arguably I could have gone for SD there actually arguably I should have gone SD because going SD would have meant that he can't just roost and now I'm, I'm in a prediction game but no he actually elected not to do that right so I have to bring my Mega Scizor here right I have to bring Mega Scizor. Um, Aquajet did around 31%, so he's got some bulk. I'm gonna say that, and then I'm gonna say Scizor. I want to bring in uh, my my own one. Can I get it right there, please? Thank you very much. Um, Bullet Punch. Yeah, Bullet Punch can beat it. So I think I gotta go for that. Yep, that's what we gotta do. Gonna kinda come in here, Mega Evolve. I'm not going SD here because he's got, he's at plus two. He's not in the terrain actually. Boy, he, he will roost. He will roost. But I could go for the SD here and then prove to be a nuisance. Um, but I think we just take this. I think I just Mega Evolve. And bullet punch and we just take the coco and if he brings in the scissor uh, in the victini i lose nothing by just sacking the toga case bringing the kelio and then we'll see because his kelio might want to go for v crate and then once he's v crate with the victini he may want to, he may not want to go for the bull strike because he would want behind he may want to go into the hydragon or something like that or the mega pincer to sack he may want to sack the mega pincer here um but he may not want to sack the Mega Pincer until, there we go, there's the Victini and his boots, which is fine. We take a little bit of chip off there. He preserved that well enough. I'm just gonna go into to Togekiss and sack that. If he U-turns, that's okay. It definitely sucks that we got the power here on Togekiss because we could have definitely have worn down the Coco enough, but it is what it is. Um, we just haven't been able to remove a mon yet that I'm like that we need to sweep but we'll or I like despite the power right like we knew this could be a situation where we are going to have to sack Pokemon in order to win but it's not the end of the world I now know the Victini is boots um I now know your weakness policy the Hydreigon is probably some scarf set um I know the Needle King uh, we don't know what the Needle King is but he's weak right so he, the Needle King isn't switching anytime soon the Driplum is probably um, some sort of setup. We'll see. There's the U-turn. We actually eat that up, which is great. Um, but that does bring in the Coco once more, and that is quite terrifying. Um, uh, I think he brings in Coco when he sets up. To be honest, if I'm being frank, I think that's why he does. Um, because he's no reason not to. He's got no reason not to. Now, if he does bring in the Coco. He actually brings this bad boy in. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um. I'm gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam as he went for his defog. Thank you very much. He wanted that for the pincer. Understandable, but at least we get the Hydreigon gone, which is nice. Um I don't know who he brings in here next, whether it be Coco or not, but I knew he was going to have to carry Defog on one of his bonds. Uh, that definitely helps the Mega Pinsir, but I'm not too concerned with Mega Pinsir. I have kept the Zero knocking around. Uh, I've got the chip on the Needle King. The Driplum is definitely some setup, I think, but we have the Zero Aura to beat that. The Victini, we have Keldeo. Um, if I can set up the speed with Keldeo, the Coco we can remove. We're not in a bad spot here, guys. We're like, we're legit not in a bad spot, right? The problem is Pinsir is a little bit on the scarier side of things. Um, but he, the Pinsir it has been worn down to the point where a plus two bullet punch will kill it. So we just got to get uh, Scizor back in to do that nastiness. Where do we set up the Scizor? Maybe in front of the Drift Bloom. We'll see. He's probably trying to think, can he sweep with the Coco here, right? That's his probably idea he's like can i come in sweep the coco next to come into this guy oh, i'm okay 
okay with this. Um, I'm okay with this. Let me go for the dozen game here again as we're paralyzed. He Nicely played. Nicely played. Um, that would have sucked. Had we that power is a killer because we killed that Nido King then. That is an actual that's an absolute killer. Oh we actually well to be fair, we don't kill it then. Right, he's Earth Power, Tox Spikes, Rest, that's an interesting set. He's definitely got some fire last move. I wanna scout if he's got the I wanna scout if he's got the Sleep Talk. If he has Sleep Talk then he might, uh, if he has Steve Talk, that I can switch in now uh, into Scizor, I think. And I proceed to just click SD until my until I'm, I'm done. Uh, I have to be careful with my Keldeo now, which sucks. I have to be careful with my Zero Aura, which sucks. It is what it is. He actually goes into 15. Just getting chip off on this thing would be delightful. Thank you very much. I'm going to go for that again. Just kill me. Just hurry up and kill me. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Now, if you're scarfed, I should go out into my Keldeo here. Click Calm Mind. Or click Surf even. Just click Surf. Because you got no you got no Keldeo answer. So I just go into Keldeo and just click Surf. Like, what do you do? Yeah, I think we just... Yeah, Keldeo to play... <laughs> Even though we're going to get the poison damage, and I just think we click surf, and no matter what happens, we just go for it. And then I think we just allow it. If we're smart with the poison damage, we just we'll eventually get the we'll eventually will get the salic berry to pop. But I think we just go for the surf. That should pick off the that would pick off anything. Now whether he wants to keep this bikini around or not, I don't know. He might want to because I have the scissor here. But regardless, if Drifting comes in, I just I can beat that. With the surf, um, if Needle King comes in, we knock that out. I think he might sack the Needle King here. I don't think he needs it anymore with Kit Toolkit gone, so I think he might sack that and then he'll bring in his Mega Pincer. Um, and the question would be do I. I'm pretty sure we do not live a quick attack from a Mega Pincer because he looks like he's adamant. So I think the quick attack will kill. Actually, the quick attack won't kill. He needs two rounds of poison. Whereas my Surf has a chance to kill him. That's interesting. So he actually ha So he- And if Coco comes in, that's dead. Right? Uh, if Drifloom comes in... Drifloom can might maybe live, live one, right? But not two. Drifloom comes in, let's just say he- uh, Let's just say he's... A random set. Um, yeah, Drif uh, Drifloom- could potentially be two AKO's. Needle King's one AKO. Bikini's one AKO here. Coco's one AKO. Yeah, you're dead. Thank you. That's fine. Um, who do you go into? Bikini again. I'm not too sure if you do that. Right, now for me to win this game, I need... To, how much damage do I need on Victini for one SD to kill? That's, I'm just going to do that calculate quick. How much How much do I need? How much do I need? Um, with Bullet Punch. I need to get him either down to 40% or I need to get to plus 4. Sorry, not even plus 4. Plus 6. As he does elect to bring the Drip Bloom here. Um... Part of me just thinks I surf here. Part of me really just thinks I surf here, right? I just surf here and I worry about... I worry about the consequences after. Yeah, I think so. There's 50%. Hex, that's fine. I should pop my Salak Berry. Bang. I've got plus one speed. Surf again. You have to bring Mega Pincer in next to kill me. Um, well, I'm just going to go for another Surf. Uh, hopefully, we get the same roll again. So the Drip Bim is gone. And then... We kind of got to wait and see what we need to do here. Needle King's still knocking around, right? So that's problematic. 
Uh, we do get crit that time. I think I, I don't think crit overly matters. But we just got rid of that. Now in comes this thing. You have to click the quick attack here to pick me off, right? So with that being the case, I think if I go into zero aura, and we should I should be able to live that because I need Helio to maybe come in on the there's the quick attack. We eat that. Thank you very much. Uh, I think. I can go for a knockoff, maybe. I ain't gonna do. Yeah, in comes Nido King, because he did that before. Off goes your Rocky Helmet. That sucked. Um, now, if you're Sleep Talk, I think, yeah, I think he's either gonna be Fire Blast or he's gonna be Sleep Talk, right? If he's Sleep Talk, we stay, oh, we stay in here, and then I get Mega Scizor in, and I just click SD. Or I bring Kelly and I just get one more Surf off. Yeah, I think we bring Kelly and I just get one more Surf off. Because he lets this thing go, and then brings... Oh. It's a tough one, right? I either get one more Surf off, or I bring Mega Scizor and SD. Right, if I if we go to Kelly out, okay, and I get one more Surf off, if... Let's just say this thing has to talk and we die to the earth power. Um, if that happens, then either Nido King goes down, Mega Pins comes, and Mega Pin and I go down to the damage, and then he brings in the Victini, and then Victini kills. That's not going to help us win the game. If I get picked off, I bring in Mega Scizor, and let's say Sleep Talk, then that way he doesn't have Fire Blast. I just come in with Mega Scizor, I spam SD until I know I can kill Victini with Bullet Punch, and I win the game. And uh, he'll have to make the he and then the decision comes down to then does he predict me going SD or and bring a Victini as I'll take that um, I will take that give me my knockoff that's okay that's okay that's okay that's okay I'm okay with him just doing this I'm no problem spamming knockoff here uh, do we see sleep talk we do kill me please. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Because I can set, uh, you You are my set of fodder for Scizor. Uh, is he going to go for another one? Toxic Spikes. Um, I'm going to go for, I, I, we, I could, yeah, I'm going to go for it again. It's a roll, I, but I kind of want him to live so that he can go for his rest. He didn't go for rest. Fuck you anyway, buddy. Oh yeah, but this was the situation we were talking about. I'm gonna come in here now. You either rest. And if you rest. Or you either you either sack this thing. So here's the thing, right? He either sacks it, brings in Victini. Or he switches in Victini hard to guarantee the win. Um this this play is probably gonna is gonna determine the rest of the game, right? If I click SD here, if I click SD here and he brings the Victini, he's won the game. I can't beat him then, um, because his V crate would smack me. If I click knock off and he, uh, if I click knock off and kill him and he brings the Victini, I'm done here, right? Now if he brings the Victini and I click knock off, I win the game because I can sweep him with this Mega Scizor. So I gotta figure out how, what he's gonna play here because yeah, it's just that is the situation. I either predict the hard Victini switch in, right? Because yeah, because he'll predict me to SD, and by me clicking knock off, I beat him. Or I click SD, and hope that he stays in with Nido King. And he's a slow Nido King as well. I think I gotta go knock off. I'm going to predict him to pre read my SD here. So I'm gonna go knock off and hopefully we can beat this Victini. Now he's on 50% here, right? So how much. Hold on, let's think about this, right? If I go to plus four. Yeah, still not. Yeah, I need plus two. No, I need to go to plus four to beat Victini with Bullet Punch. 
and it's a roll not in our favor at that point still. So if I go knock off, if I go knock off, yeah, I think I have to click knock off here and hope that he switches, uh, he stays, he stays in. I'm oh, sorry, I hope that he switches into Victini. I mean, that's what I gotta do. He obviously is trying to think about this well. He hasn't figured out what I'm gonna do yet. Because this this play literally changes the game. Like this is like the tightest game. This is the tight play here. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna read him. Want to go into Vitini to prevent me from setting up two SDs here? Because I think he knows himself. If I set up two SDs, I win the game. Um. And I think he's gonna go into Vitini, and he's because uh, he knows then if I go in, if he goes in the pincer and I click SD, he's lost. Because I click SD again, and again. Um. And I win. Um, so I think he has to hard go into Victini to win the game. And I'm making that read because he knows if I read that and I knock him out, I've won. I've won the game as simple as that. So that's how tight it is. It's going to come down to this read right here. It is, it is. It's squeaky bum time. It is squeaky bum time. Come on, do do me a solid here and go into Victini. Oh, come on. Do this one thing for me, please. Do just one, one little thing for me. Please, 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 please. Oh. I'm not gonna say anything wrong, I want to, um, I'm gonna just bite our time here and see what he wants to do. Now on the flip side here, right? If he do, if he doesn't go into Victini, right? If he doesn't go into Victini here, right? And right, let's say let's say can go down, right? How? What's the situation after that? He goes into Victini, and I think I have to go into Keldeo, right? He gets to minus one defense. Okay, and let's I'll be neutral. He gets to minus one defense. A minus one attack. That's still no good to me. It's, I, it's still absolutely no good to me because the poison damage on Kelio is too much. It's too much. It's too much. Had we had enough to live two hits? Uh, yeah, he has to go. Yeah, I, I'm banking on him making that read. I'm banking on him making the read of me going for SD and him wanting to just sack the Victini and him going hard Victini preventing me from winning the game with SD. That's what I'm doing. Oh, fuck me. Come on, Sophia. Sometime today, buddy, you've taken over two minutes with this. I know I took a while, but I, you're taking a little bit too long here, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. Okay. Okay. Um. Now his double edge can two kill me. Do I click SD? Oh god, 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 god. That's. How do you, yeah, I don't, if I click SD there. Right. Uh, how do I get SD up here? If he clicks, return, if he clicks double edge, he kills himself, right? If he clicks double edge, he should kill himself. 
Potentially. Potentially he kills himself. And I click SD. Whereas if he clicks SD, I have to go for the bullet punch straight after. Um, he's going to sack this here. I'm going to click SD here. Uh, yeah, he goes for the double edge. Uh, I think we've lost here. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, he position. Uh, if I click SD on that re going into Vega Pinsir, it is what it is. Um, he'll more. He'll beat me with the um, quick attack. No, he doesn't beat me with quick attack. He has to double edge again. He has to double edge again. Oh, Keldeo, this ha if Keldeo was able to live two rounds of poison, it Keldeo wins this. That's the sad reality. If Keldeo actually was able to live two rounds of poison, he lives this. Now, here's the thing, guys, right? We're plus two. The only thing that wins me this game is a crit. Only thing that wins me this game, I'm pretty sure, is a crit. Yeah. If I get a crit, I win this game uh, on, on Victini. If I don't, it is what it is. Uh, I know he's heavy duty boots. We will not outspeed him. I gotta kick the bullet punch. Yeah, there we go. That's what we expected. There's the V create. Um, it is what it is. If only we, if we didn't, uh, if it wasn't for the poison damage, we, I think we win this game. As we're gonna just go kick surf. Needle King goes down. We go down to the poison damage. GG, GG to our opponent. Um, oh. That's so freaking annoying. So freaking annoying. I definitely want to review how it went. Mmm. <sighs> I thought we all we almost had him there, but it just came down to that like really like that last minute, like that read on turn thirty, like where we have to decide if we're going to bank on him going hard into Bettini or not. That was a tough read. Had we got it right, we win. If we don't, it is what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there today. GG to our opponent. Um. Look, it is what it is. I thought we did relatively well. The power on Togekiss didn't do much wonders for us, but I thought we dealt with threats nicely enough. Maybe getting the spike up uh, instead of going for the T-Wave on the pincer would be a little bit easier. Would have definitely get us a little bit more chip on the Needle King and whatever, but I think we did okay. But yeah, go to check out his drafting profiles in the description down below, and I'm going to leave it there today, folks. Um, as always, oh, and leave a like on the video, subscribe, all that nonsense. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.